going to demonstrate a short video tutorial on using light sensor for iodine clock reaction. I've got hydrogen peroxide, potassium iodide, and sodium thiosulfate, and of course, starch solution. Instead of using the cross method, time it takes for the cross to disappear, we're going to use light sensor. So what I going to do is I have a cuvette. I'm going to add 500 microlit of potassium iodide, 500 microlit of sodium thiosulfate into the cuvette. Add starch solution, 100 microlit, 100 microlit of acid. Catalyst. Mix the solution well inside this cuvette. Place the cuvette above the light sensor. And mix. Going to add hydrogen peroxide. The reaction will start, and the blue-black coloration will start to form. Once this blue-black coloration starts to form the light intensity will drop immediately and we're going to measure the time it takes for the light intensity to drop this is an alternative way instead of using the cross method I'm going to measure 1 mL of hydrogen peroxide and before I add 1 mL I'm going to start my data collection together so I'm going to add and I'm going to start together simultaneously 1 mL start my data collection once blue-black coloration forms, the light intensity will drop and will be recorded on my data logger. It starts to form. Once it's formed, light intensity will drop and we take the time it takes for the light intensity to drop. It's an alternative way instead of using the cross method. Thank you.